All right, so I got a fancy code lock. Uh, let me show you what I got. I got some paper, though there doesn't seem to be an anvil around here. Luckily, I know what to do. Uh, just put some paper here, here, some in the middle, here, and here, and yep, there we go. Diamonds. <laughs> oh, it's just there. Hmm. Here's how I did it. I just used the test for block command. Let me put that in a text editor so you understand what it's doing. So these are all the items. You can change the ID if you want to use different items. You can also change the count and damage, but what I used was the slot. So basically we're testing for a chest with items on these places. 1, 7, 30, 70 and 20. Also make sure you use these letters behind the values. It won't work without them. And you need to use the right number over here. That tests the rotation of the chest. To see which rotation your chest has, just test for the chest, and if the command block didn't find the block, it will say the right data value. So we'll change that, and as you can see, it will find the chest now. Now these command blocks just summon some falling sand to open the door, and these command blocks set these blocks here, just in case the falling sand drops. So yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Ooh, diamonds! Yay! <laughs> okay, no, 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 no!